Welcome to another Microsoft Word 2007 tutorial. This tutorial, I'm going to review a basic greeting card template that I put together and demonstrate inserting and formatting content, including rotating text. To get the most out of this video and understand what's going on, it's important that you click the full screen icon in the lower right corner so you can watch this video in full screen. And also, if you click the gear icon and make sure that 720 or maybe even 480 at least is selected to give the best resolution when watching this. To get started, I have a blank greeting card template here. And by the way, this should be available for you to download. If you look at the information under this video, there should be a link so that you can download and use this template if you would like to. So let me open the template. Now as you can see, the template is made up of two individual pages. This is page one, this is page two. Let me zoom into the first page. You'll notice the top portion, uh, the top two squares, this is going to be a portrait uh, style card. So you can see this is the front page of your card. This is the back page of the card. If I scroll down to the second page, you'll notice this is the, the inner right page of the card and this is the inner left page of the card. The lower half of both pages is for a landscape style card. So this is where the card would be folded. So you have the front landscape and the back landscape. And likewise, if I scroll down to the bottom, you have the inner bottom page and the inner top panel of the card. So basically, uh, the top half of the page is a, laid out for a portrait style card where the bottom is laid out for a landscape style card. Realistically, this could be, you could create two portrait style cards or two landscape style cards. It just so happens by the direction and what, how I have the text laid out here, that's how I'm going to demonstrate it. So to get a, a jump start on things, I have a second template that I've already created. So I'm going to open that. As you can see, I already have a portrait style card created along the top, the upper half of my pages. Uh, of course, this being page one, this being the back of the page, uh, this being if you were to open the card, this would be the right side of the inner card and the left. Now, before starting, it's a good idea. I strongly recommend that you go ahead and, and remove these text boxes. As long as you understand this is the front page and this is the back page, uh, that's fine. But it's much better if you were to delete these before getting started or it will cause some issues later if you if you happen to wait until the end. So what I'm going to do, let me zoom out just a bit. To begin, let's create a simple text box since I'm matching what I have up here on the top. If I go to insert text box and I'll just use a simple text box uh, right away I want to select the edge of this box click format I want to change the fill to none because I just would like to use a transparent box and also the shape outline I will set to no outline so clicking within the box I will type the, the text that I have, same text as on top, type missing you, and I'll leave it all on one line for now, uh, so much. What I'm going to do is, the first thing is to, to customize this text. I want a different font style, a different font size and font color, so I'm going to click within the text box and press Control A because I want these changes affect all of the text inside. I'm going to click Home and let's start by changing the font and making sure it's still selected. 
I'm going to change it to, let's say, I'm going to guess here and say around 42. Press the Enter key. And one last thing, I'm going to change the font color. Let me come down and I'll choose this color here. Now I want to rotate the text. With the text selected, I will go up to the Format tab and along the left side of the ribbon, there is a button that says Text Direction. If I click that, it will rotate the text within the box. Obviously, this text did not rotate correctly, so I'll click the button again. And now I have the text rotated the way that I want it to be. So let me stretch this box to be just slightly larger. And good, that's a perfect fit. Let me, I want to grab the edge of the text box. And what I'm trying to do is I want to move the text up, which is up towards this this line here. Now I have my text box selected. I'm going to use my arrow keys to just bring that text up towards the top. Uh, there's no need for the text box to be this large, so I'll bring the bottom of that text box up. And so now I, I have the header laid out for that page one uh, front cover of my landscape card. Now the next thing I would like to do is insert uh, this graphic, actually it's a clip art, I'm going to insert that into this box here. So let me click down below. I'll come up to the Insert tab, and under the in the Illustrations group, I can insert a picture or clip art. I'm going to choose clip art, and let's search for heart, and there's my, my heart clip art graphic. Now, of course, remember whenever you import an image, this image is within this page and it's set so that it cannot be moved. So I cannot grab this image or this piece of clip art and drag it. So to change that, with the clip art selected, I'm going to right click on the clip art and go down to text wrapping and choose through. Now I can move my clip art around. Now, obviously, I need to rotate it, so I'm going to come up and hover the mouse right over this green anchor, and you'll see it turns into a little symbol, like a rotation symbol. If I click and hold the but mouse button down and start to drag, I can rotate this graphic. One little trick that you may want to, to get used to doing, and it makes it very easy when you want to rotate something specific amount, say 90 degrees. You know, I can come along here and I could guess where 90 degrees is, but if I hold my shift key down, and remember I'm still holding the mouse down, you'll notice with my shift key held down, as I rotate, the image only rotates in, in certain degrees. So now that I have it at 90 degrees, I'll let go of the mouse button, and if I grab an anchor point, I can resize and make that a bit smaller, bring it down, have it more centered under the text. And I think that about does it. I've, I've matched the front cover of my portrait style card up above uh, with the landscape style that I'm creating here. Now let me jump over to the back side of the card. And as you'll see, I have some text and I have a QR scan code here. And so I'm going to come in and add a text box. So I go to Insert, Text Box, and Simple Text Box. And I'm going to make those same changes I made before, where if I grab the edge of the text box, come up to Format, I do not want to fill, and I do not want an outline around this text. So let me go ahead and just enter some text. It's a created by text. Okay, I'm going to select that text, come up to home, and I want to center that text. And then I'll just grab the edge of that text box, grab the edge of it, and bring it down. No, nope, I'm making a mistake. Actually, I need to rotate that text. Forgot I was dealing with a landscape card. 
So let me make that text box a little larger. Select all the text inside by pressing Control A. And I'll come up to Format and click Text Direction. All right, and at this point I can decrease the width of my text box, grab the edge, and drag it to the bottom of my landscape card. I'll go ahead and insert, this time I'm inserting a graphic. So let me click on the page that I'm where I'm inserting the graphic. I have the Insert tab selected. I'm clicking Picture, and I'm clicking the QR code that I have. Again, with the picture, in a newly imported picture, I have to right click and under text wrapping select through and now I can grab that and relocate it to wherever I would like it to be. Now also I need to rotate it so I'm going to grab the anchor point and hold down my shift key so it locks in at exactly 90 degrees and it doesn't need to be quite as large so I'll make it a little bit smaller and now we have the front and the back page of this landscape style card.